All right, so what is up, everybody on YouTube? This is Bold RC. I'm coming to you guys again with yet another car vlog. Now, this time, I actually got invited out to see Ride Along 2 by Universal Studios a month early. So I was like, yo, I might as well go ahead and vlog this. And the, the whole thing about it was I'm sp supposedly, hopefully at least gonna get a picture with Kevin Hart and Ice Cube, and um, hopefully I can meet them um, because I wanna ask Kevin Hart about his air riffs um, because that's the one shoes you guys know as the shoes with the split toes. So I wanna ask him what he thinks about those because I think he'll stand behind me and saying that they're at least a cool shoe. But anyways, guys, that is what we're gonna be doing today. Um, right now, I'm actually editing a video um, in the car. I got my homie D with me right now. Um, he's actually piloting the vehicle, the Beaver right. vehicle, of course. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get back to editing this video. I actually just came back from Chicago. And I will see you guys when we go ahead and get to the theater. See y'all in a few. Go and grab that fifth, grab that eighth, grab what you need Blow that dope, don't get too high from the third coast to the west coast Come take this ride Let me tell the tell the high jock turn scout over one lost trip to the sky Let me tell the tell cause you told the tell when you said I can make it this high Who knew? God damn it, who knew? The grass ain't green on the other side, it's just blue Good, so you get to okay, a little bit of everything This is more except, unusual, this, okay. is, this is sort of this strange crazy job Like weird thing that you got, yeah Yeah, 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 not, not so normal but but different, yeah. When you look in the eyes, you ready to ride. That's true. When they look in my eyes, they see that roll. How Scotty tied that juice. Had my all right. So, guys, I just wanted to come back real fast because my homie D also is in the kick. So, I wanted to ask you, sir, right. how do you feel about the 11, the 72, and 10 joints? The 11. Overhyped. How are you feeling about them, sir? They're definitely overhyped. I think they're, they're all right. They're nothing I would spend 220 on, mm. and they're nothing I would camp over but I'm not really I'm not a you know me I'm not a huge 11 fan already exactly. but um I just think that they're trying to fake everybody into thinking that it's more premium material right. yeah the leather is leather but I'm sure if I touch it it'll probably be a little yeah not not like your premium leather because I mean they're 220 mm -hmm. uh, I mean for me switching to my thoughts I actually just got them um, having them in hand I'm not gonna lie to you is actually it switched my opinion around on them because mm -hmm. like they use on the inside of the shoe is, is suede on the inside okay and then there's leather on the outside it's like a tumble leather and then um you know how on the 11s that back tongue tab has a just that little square yeah on this it's like a rectangle now and it has 72 on one side and 10 on the other side it has a completely different description on the inside too okay. which i mean to me little I feel, things like that get me so yeah I, mean, I feel like it's more of a it feels like more of an anniversary shoe to me like a like it actually sounds like it actually looks feels and has the I think backing behind it just to be an actual hey this is the the, the, shoe. the story that goes yeah, the, story, the yeah. background for the shoe is very good I mean it's a legendary team it's the best team in the history of NBA so it was right that they finally got his own shoe for that yeah um I don't know maybe I would have made it a little I don't know I would have probably preferred maybe the all red pair that the, oh yeah there's like a mellow going around yeah um or something that's not, I know it's the Bulls and you gotta do black and red, but something that wasn't straight up. Like, put the patent leather, make it red. Like, I feel like they're getting closer and closer to looking like the fakes and the, yeah, the, uh -huh. un, the unauthorized uh, trying. So, it's just a little, I, I don't know. And then, something like that, I wanted to be, I don't want it to be general release. Yeah, oh I yeah. I think it was wasted on did, being a did you release. Did you see the map for <coughs> The joint looked the like map. it was just the whole up, eastern that was seaboard. Just put yeah, exactly. The whole eastern seaboard. You can't so even see it. So imagine your champs, your your uh, foot yeah. actions, your finish lines, DTLRs on the east coast, Everywhere. athletes' foot. All the everybody got them. Like yeah, exactly. I feel like for something that special, it should have been something a little more exclusive. That's for you. How about those twelves, the PSNY joints? Man, those joints were so hard. I, I really wanted to pay, but I can't justify paying three hundred dollars. Yes, I know. For I was like, I was so close. Like you guys have no idea. I was like, when I was out in Chicago, y'all, T. Blake, y'all know he did the review and he had them, and I looked at them. I was like, yo, like these, those are real. Like I, I was looking at them, like, yo, they're like clean. But I asked even Tyler, he was like, yo, they're not, they're not really worth it. Um, and I was like, yeah, man, I just can't justify like spending three hundred. It's like when I got the Pinnacles. Yeah. yeah. I was like, these are clean. Did you even wear those? No, they were 13, remember? I can't oh, that's my right, size. That's right, that's if right. I wouldn't have had my size, I probably would have kept them. No, um, I, I love 12s. And if if I would have had the, the, the funds to throw away on a pair of kicks, they would be in my closet right now. But I'm a regular person. 
three hundred dollars is just yeah. not in the holiday season. Yeah, that is very strong. Maybe it's if it was like strong. tax season, maybe a brother could you know throw through that three hundred Jordan brands away, but not this time. But yeah, so I just want to kind of interject us waiting with a little bit of a shoe talk, okay? So anyways, we'll be back. I'm hoping when we get back, you'll see like. You'll see us too, but you also see like Kevin Hart like in the Ice Cube. Like real yeah, like, well, like uh, not that I'm cool. Not, I'm a regular dude. He's yeah. somebody with celebrity. But so you actually real. see like real people that you guys yeah. know because you guys don't know me. I'm not that cool. All right, we bye. We're going to tell y'all what shoes Kevin Hart got on too. Exactly. <laughs> 18. 18. Please don't try to play us. 18. We want to be touched. We real. <laughs> With that being said, if you like this movie, when you're done, talk to us. Jump on social media instantly. Yeah. Hashtag one, two, tell us what you thought. If you didn't like it, I want you to cancel your social media pages immediately. We don't want to hear anything from you. <laughs> All right, guys. So we just seen the movie. What you think, man? Yo, that shit was hilarious. Man. Like, you don't got to see the first one either. Exactly like that. I'm gonna just say and I'm not even gonna spoil any of the movie. Just after you see the movie, you're gonna want to change your girl's ringtone. That's all I'm gonna say. That's don't get caught with that. Don't get caught slipping, man. But anyways, yeah, man. Yo, shout out to Universal once again for inviting me out. It was dope. Shout out to Kevin and Ice Cube. It was dope meeting you two as well. Um, hopefully this video somehow finds you guys. And um, yeah, man, great job on the movie, man. It was awesome. It was hilarious. Was amazing, yo. Appreciate y'all meeting y'all too. Definitely, 100%. Go check it out if you want a good laugh. Y'all be easy. I'm out of here. You guys can follow me everywhere at Bold RC, of course. I'm going to see you guys next video. Y'all be easy. Peace. Please don't try to play us. 18.